Ka-chow! What's poppin' pumpkin heads? Your boy Sweet Lou back again with bug defense and fertilization plans. Happy 5th of July. I had some fun last night. Um, I came out today to look at our friend, Watley, and I noticed, um, well one, he's doing good. I've got three rows of secondary vines. One, two, three rows that are coming out, which is good. My, um, okay, so I'll tell you the story. So, see how these are sort of droopy? It hasn't been droopy, and I wondered if um, it was because it wasn't getting watering. I'm using a Wi-Fi router-powered automatic watering system that sent me, and it's been sending me an error the last couple of days that there's not flow. And I was checking it to make sure there was flow, and as I was out here, I was like, oh, it's probably just because it's a heat wave right now, and that even, even if the soil is soaking wet, they can't uh, pump it as fast as it's being evaporated from the leaves, so they droop. Uh, so I'm not too worried. I bet you these will snap back this evening. But I'm really glad I came out here and checked because I found the enemy. Let's see how close we can get in here. I don't know if you can see it. So this is a squashed squash bug. It's the name of the bug and it's the name of what you do with them. Maybe it's better from there. Um, these are fully adult squash bugs. So these eggs were probably laid last year somewhere nearby, probably somebody else's garden. Because the soil where I had squash bugs last year, I actually threw away because I knew that there would be eggs in there. So. They, they laid their eggs somewhere, and then the fully adult ones went roaming, and they found Watley. So I looked under every single leaf and, squ and um, squished them in my hands, um, but they may have already laid some eggs. I also looked for eggs. I didn't see any. But this is a cue that it's going to be a big squash bug year. And my plans of building a big plant first and then fertilizing, I think it's too late for that. I think that... I got to fertilize right away. The reason is because squash bugs, they suck the, they're like little vampires. They suck the blood off of the vines and the young fruits and they inject bacteria and stuff that softens it and makes it more edible. That bacteria can kill a fruit and keep it from getting as big as it should. Or if it does get big, it gets real squishy and collapses on itself and won't last very long. But they're most dangerous to very young fruits. So what I'm thinking is, if there's already three of these guys out and it's 5th of July, and this guy's not going to be harvested until September, the squash bug problem is probably going to be pretty bad. So I want pretty bad. So I want to get the pumpkin through the fertilization phase as quickly as possible. So that means fertilizing the next flower that shows up. Um, also, I've noticed some grasshoppers. So while we're talking about Bugs, I want to say grasshoppers are around as well. So I have battened down the edges to pr protect from mammals and birds. Um, everything except for moles. But something is still absolutely going to town on these leaves. Let's see if you can actually see that. Pretty yeah, see how shredded they are? Something is eating them and continues to eat them. That doesn't, you know, it might be squash bugs. They might have nibbed it and moved on. There's a part that's gone. I didn't see any underneath there when I went looking, but they could be hiding underneath there. You can see water's dripping out from there. This thing is perfect. Water flows right through. You cannot overwater it. I could probably water it during all daylight hours and it wouldn't, like, saga but something's nibbling these and I'm, it's probably grasshoppers and i saw some baby grasshoppers i was walking through here okay so the plan is to daily come out here and check for adult squash bugs and squish them like this uh the other plan is to look under each leaf whenever i can and look for the eggs they're pretty visible once you know what to look for and then rip out the leaf section that has the eggs stuck to it you can take your time and try to scrape them off, but I don't think it's worth it. It takes a long time and you, you end up damaging the plant anyway. So why not just snip it off? Maybe with scissors cleanly, get the eggs off. And then we got to fertilize the next pumpkin that shows. So luckily I saw one that might pop tomorrow morning. 
Well, there's a little yard work. Hopefully it's not too loud, you can bear with me. So it's on the main vine, which is perfect. And it's pretty far out onto a dry spot of dirt, which is also perfect. And if I bring you in here, you might be able to see her. There she is. That's what I'm aiming for. See how it's, the top's really pointed, but it's almost about ready to open up like a flower that's ready to bloom. That's what's gonna happen. So tomorrow morning at around 6 a.m. that's gonna pop open because that's when they do. There's a window between like six and eight in the morning. And then I gotta get a male flower, open it up and stick it on there so that they can fertilize. And luckily, I see this male flower. You can tell it's male because it's on a long pole and it doesn't have like the bulb jug at the end of the flower. And that also looks like it's about to open. So we're gonna self pollinate tomorrow morning. That's the plan. I'm gonna check for bugs. I'm gonna get this pumpkin growing and hopefully the bugs won't kill it before it does. All right, that's the plan. Happy 5th of July, y'all. Thanks for stopping by, Pumpkin Hill.